How familiar are you with the Post Crop Vignette Tool in Lightroom and all of its options? Are you clear on which style of vignette to choose? Do you know what the highlight slider does? Well, in this video, I'll answer all of those questions and give you a few more tips and tricks on how to use the Vignette Tool in Lightroom Classic. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve their images from capture and camera through to the final editing process. So if you're ready to learn about the Vignette Tool, let's hop over to Lightroom. The first thing you need to know about the Vignette Tool in Lightroom Classic is where to find it. If you're in the Develop module already, just go down to the Effects panel on the right hand side and you'll see Post Crop Vignette. To apply a vignette, drag the first slider amount to the left to make a dark vignette or to the right to make a light vignette. I'll show you that in a moment. For now, let's take it almost all the way to the left. To get your vignette positioned, what I recommend is taking the feather or the edge transfer so you can see the edge in a hard line, take the feather all the way to zero. Then use the midpoint sliders to make it smaller by going to the left or larger to the right and the rounded slider to adjust the shape. I'm going to go with something a bit more circular and a little bit smaller. Once you have the shape and size of your vignette set, then just drag the feather slider back up to the positive side, somewhere a plus 50 or 60 is usually good. So that gives it a nice slow gradation from the edge into the center of the image. One thing to note is if you need your vignette to be off center, you can't do that with Lightroom, so you'd have to use a mask and a radial filter. Once the vignette is placed and sized, then I adjust the amount. But there's one other slider we haven't looked at yet, that's this bottom one called Highlights, and then there's also a Style pull-down menu. Under the Style menu, you'll see three choices, Highlight Priority, Color Priority, or Paint Overlay. I use Highlight Priority most often, Color Priority some of the time, and Paint Overlay 0% of the time. I find that it just makes the image look sort of muddy, and gray. See how that works? So that's the paint overlay and I don't see a difference at least on this image between color and highlight. Where the difference comes into play is this last slider. So if you drag this highlight slider up, notice that it's affecting this top left corner of the image. I'm going to make the vignette extra dark just so you can see how it's working. When the highlight slider is back to zero, you'll notice that this corner is very dark and it looks unnatural because the sun is actually coming from there, lighting up the subject. But dragging the highlight slider up, it's effectively removing the vignette just from the brightest areas around the edge of the image and it makes it look more believable. Now let's see if there's any difference if I change to the color priority style. Not much. So in this case, either of those would work well. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to join me every week on my YouTube channel live stream where I edit subscriber submitted images. Check out the information on how to join me and submit your images in the description area below. Let's look at this image as another example. If I drag this one down to the left and darken it, let's just make it a little bit smaller. Now changing the style from highlight priority to color does make a small change. You'll notice it in this area here. Again, the highlight slider brings those highlights back along the edges. And now you do see a noticeable difference between the two different styles. So when you're applying a vignette to your image in Lightroom Classic, make sure that you adjust the style and make it appropriate for the image that you're editing. And finally, I mentioned doing a light vignette. So let's see what happens if we take this the opposite direction. Now you'll notice that the highlight slider actually has disappeared, so it's not an option anymore, but you still have the ability to adjust the midpoint or size, the roundness, and the feather. 
If you go all the way to 100 on the amount slider, you'll notice that you actually will reach pure white on the edges. So if you want to do something like this, you can actually make like an old time photo with a white border. Of course, likewise, you can do the same with black. But in this case, you want to keep the highlight slider down to make sure the edges are black. For more Lightroom tips and tricks, watch this video now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And for more extensive learning, please check out my full Lightroom course. Information is on the screen and in the description area below.